Retired NBA player Dwayne Wade and actress Gabrielle Union have walked a long, strange trip to the altar, and they continue to do married life their own way. Let's take a closer look at this peculiar, persistent, and powerful pair. Before she met Wade, Union had more than a few unsuccessful relationships with other athletes. There was former NBA star Jason Kidd, who dumped her two weeks before the junior prom. And then there was former professional football player Chris Howard, whom she wed in 2001. After he reportedly cheated on her throughout their marriage, the couple decided to call it quits. After these strikeouts, Union wasn't keen on dating another athlete ever again, especially not someone who arrived with a ton of baggage. And at first, it didn't seem like Wade would be the one to change her mind. In 2014, she told Glamour, When I met Dwayne, his resume looked like crap. Athlete, going through a divorce, nine years younger than me. None of that screamed, let's have a lasting relationship. Then after I had a heart-crushing breakup with yet another immature jerk, I thought, it can't be any worse if I date a fetus. Let's just see what happens. Wade and Union began dating in 2009, while he was going through a contentious divorce with his first wife. Union had her doubts about whether or not she should continue the relationship, but after talking it over with her friends and sorting out her feelings, she eventually decided that it was worth it. If you've ever been at a Miami Heat game and you heard someone going absolutely ballistic and heckling like there was no tomorrow, Gabrielle Union was most likely the culprit. Dwayne Wade won three NBA championships during his time with the Heat, so he obviously knows a thing or two about basketball. But that hasn't stopped his wife from chiming in from the peanut gallery. She's even mocked his poor performances in interviews. In 2016, she told Ocean Drive magazine, Last night he took an incredibly bad shot. It went off the side of the backboard. It didn't even come close to the net. Her criticism apparently got so bad that Wade even banned her from sitting courtside at his games. I become like Bobby Knight and like the great Santini. It's oh, bad. you were just screaming and you were abusive. Yeah, like brick, you know, air ball. It as weird as it may seem that Union unloads such harsh criticism on someone she ostensibly loves, she has solid reason for why she's so tough on her husband. Hey, Who's gonna tell tough. him if what not me? Tough? Enjoy those nosebleed seats, Gabby. Wade and Union live an action-packed life, complete with frequent vacations to every corner of the globe. But when it comes time to relax, they like to chill with their family, which include Wade's three children from previous relationships, his nephew, whom they are also raising, and the daughter they had together. So what do these two rich and successful celebs like to do during their downtime? One of Wade's favorite things to do as a family, it turns out, is go to Walmart, at least according to his wife. When they're in Miami, it's challenging for them to do regular, everyday things, but when they're in Los Angeles, all bets are off. As Union told Ocean Drive magazine, we really enjoy Walmart, Target, going to the grocery store. He loves to take the dogs to the car wash. He's the guy with the Maltese at the car wash. Celebrities, they're just like us. When Union interviewed TV personality Tamron Hall for Oprah magazine in 2019, she brought up the subject of parenting and revealed that she and Wade disagree when it comes to the matter of Santa Claus. That confession came up when Union asked Hall if her background as a black woman from the South ever informs her parenting differently than it might other parents. Before she let her answer, Union took the opportunity to share a personal anecdote, revealing, I'll say to my husband, let's tell the kids their Christmas gifts are from Santa. And my husband is like, there's no way in hell I'm letting these kids think that old white man is sneaking into our house and doing anything for them. Because he didn't grow up believing in Santa Claus. And we have these conversations when it comes to raising our children about where to draw the line between fantasy and, hey, that's not how life works. Paul, for one, knew exactly where Union was coming from. As she noted, modern parenting is especially difficult for parents of color. We have to talk about not only are we going to say Santa exists, but also, is Santa black? While Wade's concerns are certainly valid, we're worried that he might just be on Santa's naughty list now. You're getting a lump of coal. Wade and Union got married in 2014, welcomed their first child together in 2018, and in 2020, they're still as smitten as ever. What's their secret? It turns out that a little role-playing goes a long way. During a February 2020 appearance on Watch What Happens Live, Wade opened up about how he and his wife keep the spark alive. Showing zero qualms about sharing their bedroom habits with the world, he told host Andy Cohen that they keep things fresh and exciting by going out at night and pretending to be strangers. Based on his telling, Wade clearly loves getting into character. He further explained that sometimes if he and his wife get into a routine, that can slow down the action in their love life. 
so they've realized that sometimes they just need to get into that role playing. Hey, if it works, it works. Yo, go ahead and take your clothes off and go down, walk down the street. You know what I mean? <laughs> let's, take, let's take it back to Rodeo Drive, wow, baby. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.